Welcome back. In the previous step, we wrote a unit test using a Java application context. So in this step, what we'll do is we'll write a unit test using an XML application configuration. So I'm copying the binary search test and I'm calling binary search XML configuration test. One of the things that we did when we did the configuration was in the application context.xml, we loaded everything. So we said the base package is com 8, 28 minutes spring basics. So this would also load everything which is present in the basics package. So it would load almost every bean that we have already defined. So we will use this application context.xml to write our unit test right now. So in the XML configuration test, what I would do is I would define the context configuration. Earlier we defined the context configuration using classes, but now we don't want to use the classes. What we want to do is we would want to use the locations. Locations are the XML locations. So I can specify an XML location in here. Where is our application context present? It's in the class path at application context dot XML. So now what would happen? the application context.xml would be loaded and let's run this and see what would happen. Right click run as JUnit test and you'd see that the test would succeed. So now we are using an XML context. You can see that I'm loading up the application context.xml in here. Also you'd see that XML JDBC connection and everything else is loaded. So this is really the XML configuration that is being loaded up. I just wanted to make sure that we are really loading up the XML configuration. So the beans which are specific to XML configuration are also loaded up. That's very cool. All that we had to do was to change the context configuration to use this location as the context. One of the important thing is right now we are picking up the context from source main resources which is present in here. This folder is in the class path of the unit test. So this would be picking up the application context from here. If you want to have any test configuration that is different from your real application context, then you can actually copy this XML context and you can create a new folder called source test resources. So you can create a folder called source test and say new folder and resources in here. And over here, I'm pasting this specific thing in and I'll rename this to test context. If you are writing a unit test and if you would want to override something from another context, then you can actually import that context in and override the content of that. Over here, I can simply say import and I can say resource is inside the class path and I would want to override the application context. Oops, it should be class path application context dot XML. And if anything in the application context, you don't really want to use, if you want to override a specific bean, you can define it here and override whatever you would want to override from the application context.xml. So what we are doing is here in the test context, we are take, importing the application context. And if you want to override something, you can override it in here. And now in the binary search XML context configuration test, I can start using the test context. Right click run as JUnit test. You'd see that this would succeed. In this step, we looked at how to define an XML configuration. And also we looked at how to define a separate test configuration for your unit test. Until the next step, bye-bye.